Many times life takes real courage. And we have a choice at that point, whether to withdraw and hide in a corner or face our fear. I say to you, it is important that with God we face our fears. In Isaiah 41, verse 10, it says, Don't be afraid, because I am your God. I will make you strong, and I will help you. I will support you, and listen to this, I will support you with my right hand that saves you. The right hand is a biblical idiom. It stands for the right side of God. It stands for, for the real helping hand, not, not a hand that will lead you into despair or lead you into trouble, but the hand of guidance that will show you always, always the right way to go. Eleanor Roosevelt is quite a story. She was the niece of President Theodore Roosevelt, the wife of President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. She was highly accomplished as America's strongest and uh, longest tenured first lady. She was a, a woman that they looked to often for strength during the Depression, during the war years, and this lady had a remarkable story because she was very afraid to be in public, especially to speak in public. Well, she had a choice. She could have stayed in the back room of the White House and hid, or she could come out to be a real leader, and people needed a leader, and she was just that. And she became quite a speaker with saying profound things to people that needed to hear the words that she was speaking. Well, she offered first-class advice when she said, you gain strength, you gain courage, you gain confidence every time you look fear in the face. My friend, if you're looking for a way to get more out of your life, consider any irrational fears that may be holding you back today. And I don't know what way it will hold you back, but fears work in a multi-faceted way to hold us back on many levels. Face your fear. Face your fear of failure. And we all experience that, don't we, at some time or another. But this time, you're going to refuse to let it hold you back. And you're going to face your fear in uh, any adversity that you're facing. And as you do so, most importantly, you're not going to face that alone. You're going to entrust your way to God, who has promised to strengthen and promised to help you. And when you do these things, you're going to find that courage has its own reward and it will continue to bless you as you realize you and God can do anything. And fears are nothing but an illusion. I pray that you realize this today. It has been said, nothing in life is to be feared. It is only to be understood. When you look at something, an old fear, from a vantage point of strength and courage, you'll see just how small and how weak it is.